Hey, how's it going, everybody? Thanks for checking out Exile State Comics. I'm Justin, doing a random haul, some books I picked up over the last couple weeks, a couple trades, and even a pop in this video. So uh, stick around kind of toward the end for that one. And then also, of course, what I do after I go through comics and things like that, I'll go over the comments from last week's uh, random haul video, and there were actually quite a few. Um, so we'll check those out and see what everybody said. And of course, leave a comment, and then I'll read it in the next random haul. That's how that works. Super easy. And of course, on Thursday night, check out Strictly Comics. There'll be a link in the description below. 8.30, doing a comic talk or comic chat. I don't remember what we named it over there. I think it's just like comic talk. But uh, a lot of great stuff going over there. We had a special guest, ETA Nick, last week. A lot of slab talk. A lot of, uh, you know, grading comics and the difference between the grades and the companies and who grade them and things like that. So that was really interesting to hear. Somebody who's uh, been in the, you know, kind of been grading books for a number of years at this point so good to get that kind of perspective and also check out JLS comics um, link in the description below of course because we'll be starting up Tuesday con uh, Tuesday's comic conversations pretty soon so everybody check those out okay so on with the books uh, just because it's time to get to the books right all right first these are two books from this week so it's actually new books but I just didn't pick them up on New Comic Book Day. I went back and picked them up because I had to get bags and boards. And this is Surgeon X from Image. Um, I know that there's a, a lot said about this book, so I'm not exactly sure. You know, Sarah Kinney, I think she was the editor at Dark Horse or somewhere like that, I want to say. it could be completely wrong. I need to look it up. So I'm just going to stop talking. But it should be a good book. Definitely going to check it out. And then, of course, I picked up Teen Titans. Issue in Rebirth, number one. Just because I'd heard some people say, why didn't you pick it up? Already in the hall from last week. Or in the new hall. <gasps> oh, look at this. New Batman, the animated figures. Animated series figures. Those would be cool to get some of those. I have to check those out. Got Wally. Shot. Cool. So I'll check that book out. Who's writing it? Percy? It's, um... They're not going to tell me. They are not going to tell me. Towards like the middle of the book? Nope. Probably at the end. Yep, it is. Ben Percy and John Boy Myers do the story and visuals. Great ending there. I'm going to spoil the end of the book. Whatever. Alright. And so while I was at my shop, I also picked up I picked up three more books for my shop here. So I picked up Batman 475. This is the first appearance of Rene Montoya, who would later become The Question. So I used to have this book. They had it. it let me Actually, it was really cool. He let me look through this like stack of books that they'd just gotten in of like first appearances and things like that. So, of course, I picked this one out. Wanted to have it. Really cool to have that book again. And then I picked up Thor 279. So the Mighty Thor 279, um, just because I, I have 280 on the way. So really excited So look for that one in a future video. And then the last book I picked up for my shop was uh, Daredevil number 7. This is the uh, variant edition for the Horseman of Apocalypse. Excuse me. I just really wanted this cover. Really liked it. Uh, Daredevil's really the only series that I will go back and like maybe get like variant covers for if I don't get them the day they come out you know things like that okay uh, I got a few older books here we got Uncanny X-Men 164 this is Carol Danvers becoming binary so really cool book figured I'd pick it up I got it really cheap so I was super excited about that um, Heroes Reborn The Return part one of four I didn't order this book it was a mix-up in shipping but the uh, the seller like the book I didn't get he's gonna send it so we're all good and I'll just keep that one for free. I actually read through it just because I knew what kind of happened with Heroes Reborn. And since this is the return, this was really cool because it's uh, Franklin talking to... Who's he talking to the whole movie? Uh, like the Celestials or... Yeah, I think it's the Celestials in like human form. Or maybe it's Beyonder. I don't remember, but I read it and it was good. Ish. I don't know if I'm going to go pick up three, you know, two, three, and four to finish it out or not, but maybe... All right, The Mighty Thor, issue 440. This is the uh, Thor Corpse issue. Awesome there with Thor and Thunderstrike and Beta Ray Bill. 
Uh, let's see if there's anything actually in here that we want to see. I mean, there was so much more panel work and stories, so many fewer. Oh, remember this t-shirts. So I'll show you that. Some good old Thor stuff. When was this one from? 90 something? Yeah, 91. 91. All right. Two, three more comics here. We got Fantastic Four 247. Pick this one up just because of the cover. That's a really cool cover of Doom. Like, I guess, are they in Latveria? Is that his home? The bad thing is, as you can see up at the top here, under World's Greatest Comic Magazine uh, and above Fantastic, is a 7 15. So, and that's in pen. Yeah, that's in pen. So that's not coming off. Worthless book. <laughs> but I think I ended, I think I paid like forty cents for it. So, and then I got uh, Peter Parker: The Spectacular Spider-Man number twenty-six, uh, just because Daredevil was on the cover there. Really wanted to pick this one up. Now I just saw I saw Daredevil on it, and I saw Blinded by the Mass Marauder, Spider-Man plunges to his doom to die in darkness. Nice. It's a really cool book here. I wonder... Uh, 78. 78. Really cool. That Fantastic Four was from 82. And then I picked up a Marvel Tales... Marvel Tales starring Spider-Man. Uh, issue 83. And this is from 77. So, Craven the Hunter. That was why I picked it up. Just because it was going to see him in it. Uh, is this to be the final hunt? No, it's not. As, as we all know. As we all know. All right, so I picked up a couple trades, just a few here. I picked up um, Black Science from Image, Volume 1. I've got the first few issues of the series, but I just decided to go ahead and pick it up in trade uh, just to kind of see where the story was at. I've heard a lot of good things, and I did enjoy the first couple uh, issues that I got. I just kind of fell off of it with everything else that I was kind of reading at the time. And then the two other ones I picked up was Batman Earth 1, Volume 1, and Volume 2. Because Comic Pop did these, and I like the story, and I wanted to pick them up. And it's a story worth having. Jeff Johns uh, doing these, Gary Frank. So if you haven't checked these out, these are actually decent priced at fourteen ninety nine a piece. Well, yeah, twelve ninety nine a piece, fourteen ninety nine. But I, I got a discount where I where I got them, so it was all good. But like I said, it's just you know, it's a different take, and it's it's actually pretty cool. And I just noticed the Joker symbol in the building there on volume two. The question mark lit up on the uh, building. Yeah. Just noticed that. Just noticed that. All right, so last thing is the pop. I picked up a Spider-Man black suit glow in the dark. Uh, from, so I guess a Walgreens exclusive. They had the iron spider, but it was like broken or squished down or something in there. So mm, I wasn't going to get it. But I do have the black suit Spider-Man, but I don't think I have the glow-in-the-dark one. So now I have this. This is actually really, really cool. Probably just going to keep it. I'm um, not going to try to sell it or put it in a case or anything like that. I was thinking about just taking it out and just having it on my desk or something like that. Because it it's a glow-in-the-dark black suit, black suit Spider-Man. That's super cool. Okay, so let's go over the comments from last week. Uh, there were a good number. So let's, uh, let's just go back up to the top if I can. All right, first we got Alex, the comic hoarder. What is up, man? I think that's the first time I've seen you post, so I really appreciate you commenting. Um, he said, My first graded book was X-Men number four. First and only graded book ever. I just put them in the top loader, top loaders now. Yep, same thing, man. That's really cool. That's awesome. X-Men number four. Oh, of like the Jim Lee series? From the 91, 92 there? All right, maybe that was it. All right, Strictly Comics, what is up, Edwin? He says, Contra congratulations on getting your first graded book. I think getting a graded book of one of your first comics is a great place to start. Welcome to the club. Thanks a lot, man. I really appreciate it. <laughs> uh, JLS Comics, what's up, Jesse? He says, knife it, or hashtag knife it, because that's what I had to do to open that box last week. He said, ah, congrats on your first graded book, my man. Uh, it's great choice uh, picking something that means something to you, and I and I think that's the way to go. Is if uh, you know you see a graded book out there that maybe it's not expensive, maybe it's not anything that anybody wants, but you just want that book. It has some meaning to you. That's the book you should go for. 
Rez, what is up, Rez? Rez is on with us on Thursday nights over on uh, Strictly Comics, so everybody check that out. Like I said, link in the description for anything that I talk about. Also, check out comicbook.com. I'm the managing editor over there. New articles going up all the time, new stories. New comic book list went up on uh, Monday, so check that out. You know, see all the books that are coming out this week before you hit the shop. Rez says, I have too much value... I have... I have too much valuable books to name, but for the sake of, of participating, I will have to say my Mobius Blueberry Epic Run trade paperbacks. Nice. Very nice. Alright, let's see what else we got here. We got Iculus. What's up, Iculus? Iculus has been in the comments a lot, been commenting over here a lot, so I really appreciate that, keeping the activity going, man. That's awesome. I uh, said, uh, very nice haul, and while I'm not a huge fan, not huge on signed books, that Black Eyed Kids number one is pretty cool. It is actually really, really cool. And the book was, it was a first issue from Aftershock. It was $1.99. So a signed book for $1.99. Can't beat that. Big congrats on your first graded book. I like that it's not necessarily a high value book, but one, um, in, but instead one that is important to you. Yeah, like I said, that's the way you should go. My first graded book is actually two since I got them at the same time, and also my first two Silver Age books. Peanuts number eleven graded at number at seven point oh, very nice, and a number thirteen at eight point five. Love me some Snoopy. That's awesome, man. Hey, go with what you love, right? Go with what you love. Remember Porkins. What is up, man? Everybody, check out Remember Porkins. I uh, said uh, congrats on the slab. Awesome, awesome. Uh, comics and Stuff, what's up, Jose? Everybody check out Jose. Comicsandstuff.com. He's got his website going now also. Uh, he's got videos going up. I think he actually had a live show and like an interview uh, over the weekend, so everybody check that one out. He said, I'll be back so you can open that shipping box. Tick, tick. LOL. Uh, I'm back, and congrats on your first slab book. Yes, you definitely paid less than grading costs. Kudos. Nice. He said, my first slab was one of four slab books, which I still own. Uh, Batman 251, uh, 9.2, signed by Neil Adams. Wow, that's awesome. That is an awesome book. Um, man, that, that'd be crazy to have a signed. I don't have anything signed, signed by Neil Adams or anything like that. That's crazy. Uh, Rez popped in for another comment. She said, why am I not surprised you had a knife in your pocket? Nice pickups and slabbed comic. Thanks, Rez. I, just, I had it because I knew I had to open the box. So, Ghost Who Walks 2040. So the Phantom is with us. What is up, the Phantom? The Ghost Who Walks. Everybody check them out. That's awesome. I like the name. I like the name. All right. So great video. I just happened to stumble across your channel and subscribed. I really appreciate that. You know, when, you know, building up some new subscribers lately, and I really appreciate that, everybody. Definitely going to be doing a live show once I get past, like, 250. Um, and hopefully I'll be able to have some guests on. We'll do some Q&A and, and just talk about some comics because that's the best thing to do, right? He said, uh, goes on to say, I totally agree with you that what you want to read, or buy what you want to read. I've been reading comics as far back as I can remember and collecting them for the past 36 years. That's awesome. I bet your collection is amazing. Um, and I only have two graded books. Um, let's see. Both CGC that I got this year. The first was a Batman 171, the first Silver Age appearance of the Riddler at a 6.0. Wow, that's really cool. The second is a Conan the Barbarian, number one, 8.0. Both, both were from my lo local shop and a decent price for their grade, which is why I grabbed them, I guess. is what he says. i got to click and read more because there's too many comments. That's why I grabbed them. Uh, glad you got one that's special to you. That's what is so great about this hobby. People have such a wide range of books, uh, characters, and creators that they love. Keep up the fun videos. Looking forward to seeing more. Awesome. Ghost Who Walks 2040, I really appreciate that. That was that was very well said. I really appreciate that. And that is awesome. That Batman 171, man, that's amazing. Now, Conan, Barbarian number one. Or, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Batman 171. <laughs> Batman number one would be amazing. All right, next. The Ginger Goat. What is up, the Ginger Goat? That's cool. He said, coming from Australia. What is up down under, Australia? How you doing, man? I subscribed to you today. Love your videos, man. Keep up the awesome work. I appreciate it, Ginger Goat, number one. You are the best. That Ginger Goat. Sorry. That Ginger Goat. Everybody check out That Ginger Goat. Um, that, so that's awesome. I think that's my first comment from Australia. I really appreciate that, man. Hope everything's going good down there. All right. Old Men Gamers. What is up, Old Men Gamers? How's it going? Said, I love Stormwatch as a series. My first CGC book was Lazarus, number one. And my next three 
I got two, three, and four this July, and now have like 15 CGC since. Sweet video. Yeah, it's um, it's it can be an addiction. Like, you don't want to see my watch list in eBay. It's it's a lot of slabs of me just like debating whether or not. Or like I said, there's other books I have that I want to send in, like this uh this Daredevil variant that I picked up that I can't find now. Yeah, this one. I would love to send this book in and get it slabbed because it looks like it's in really good condition. I don't see any issues on it. There's no like ticks really at the top or the bottom. So kind of thinking about sending this one in. So it may be something I do in the future. I'm going to talk to, uh, who am I going to talk to? I'm going to talk to Jose and Edwin over at, uh, you know, Strictly Comics and Comics and Stuff respectively. So check them out. Like I said, everybody, links in the description below. Check out comicbook.com. Like, subscribe to this video. Leave a comment. And I'll be back again shortly with another haul. Uh, we got new comic book day haul coming up soon, a couple days, and probably another random haul because I'm waiting on another delivery. So have a good one, everybody. Uh, just keep reading what you like. Keep buying what you like. Talk to you later.